What's going on, Apes the Ape Army? My name is Tyler, and welcome back to the channel for another very important AMC update video. So, in this video, we're going to be going over all of the many reasons why AMC stock is falling, but what I do think will turn the tables for AMC, because obviously, we're going up past all-time highs, in my opinion, once the short squeeze does start. I'm not going to throw price targets around or say when I think it's going to happen, but we need to talk about this possible reversal and the multiple reasons, like I said, why AMC stock is selling off but also just go over the ortex data the stock o tracker data as well as some technical analysis for you guys with that being said make sure to drop the like on the video as well as comment down below let me know how many shares of amc that you do currently own as well as consider subscribing to the channel for more videos like this so let's get straight into it guys with a little bit of technical analysis first things first because this is very obvious something we talk about in many many videos this has been a long-standing support level once we do get down to these lower ranges this 33 dollar level remains a solid support and that is exactly what we've seen today hitting a low of $32.78 bouncing straight back above $33 now closing out the day at $33.65 so this is very good to see that 33 remained a support level I said worst case scenario you're looking at about $30 just because with ticket sales increasing more people going to theaters again you can make a justifiable valuation if, if you held AMC for a couple of years that AMC could be worth about $20 to even $30 per share. So I think your downside here is a lot less compared to your potential upside. And that is a main reason why I'm so bullish on AMC stock. We're still not seeing that volume coming back into the stock, but that is a good thing if you're just trying to accumulate shares at these lower prices like we are doing in the buy and sell alerts. And if you guys want to be part of that, be notified when I do make this big earnings trade. Check that out. Link down below in the description. It literally pays for itself, guys. But that's basically all you do need to know. Going back to the four hour candlestick chart obviously we have to break out past 40 we need to at least get back up to 40 dollars we were flirting with this for a while but i do think that is going to happen and then eventually break over the 200 day moving average which was our last level of resistance confirmation that we did get right back here this was july 22nd when we did hit this exact 200 day moving average literally down to the penny and then dropped off of that so definitely that is what we're looking for as far as the technicals like i said worst case scenario you're looking at about 30 dollars for support but let's get into a little bit more of the Ortex data and then go over the many reasons why AMC is selling off and then what will possibly cause this reversal, at least in my opinion. And this really does revolve around the trade that I just talked about. And like I said, if you guys want to be notified when that is made, link down below in the description. But as far as the Ortex data, take this information with a grain of salt. Even if these numbers are 100% correct for the legal shorted shares, we're still looking at a very high short interest. So nothing has actually changed with this trade trade our short interest has actually went up almost one percent over the past couple of trading days or our estimated short interest has i should say uh now at 15.04 percent the current shares are sold short of 76.96 million so almost 77 million we are looking at return shares for the day of almost 1 million borrowed shares of 1.1 million so keep in mind this is only return shares and borrowed shares the free flow on loan is 19.15 percent that is about four four percent uh more than our actual estimated current short interest so really what is happening when you do see a lot of return shares it's not shorts are covering we're not seeing any shorts that have covered reflected in the fintel filings the s the f13s but we are seeing the return shares hedge funds and institutions that have actually loaned out these shares to other hedge funds and institutions returning them back without actually shorting them any further that is only if the ortex data is 100 correct but the share utilization is at 90.36 percent so that that is based out of how many shares could be lent out how many of those are lent out so 90.36 percent of those shares are already lent out so this is a very hard stock to borrow you're looking at the possibility of forced recalls if this does continue to go up and this is just overall a very bullish thing now let's get into the stock tracker data this will help to understand one of the reasons why amc stock is going down so much and when you do come to the calls and the puts obviously you're seeing a lot of out the money calls expiring this Friday Friday. you're also seeing a lot of out the money puts but not nearly as much you're seeing a lot of in the money puts and about no 
in the money call so that is essentially what is happening with a whole gamma squeeze you're looking at basically a reverse gamma squeeze when when you have a lot of puts the hedge funds and institutions have to sell you shares at a certain price so to make sure they don't lose money because market makers they facilitate the options market about 90 percent of the options market the calls and the puts you're buying you're actually paying that premium to market makers so once your contracts start to go close to in the money and in the money obviously you're winning on those trades so market makers they would essentially be losing on those trades once they do go into the money so with calls they obviously buy the shares before it actually gets to your strike or right after depending on the premium that was paid but with puts they actually have to short shares into the open market so you can buy these shares at a lower price if you get assigned on these put options so that is essentially what is going on we're seeing in the money puts at 48,061 for this Friday you're seeing a lot of downward pressure you're seeing more than 10 times the amount of puts that are in the money than calls that are currently in the money which is expected after we have had so many negative red days about five percent every every given day but we do have out the money put still at about 80 thousand so you're seeing a lot of downward pressure just the in the monies right now you're looking at about 4.8 million shares that will have to be shorted into the market if they have not been already but i do think a lot of these have probably already been shorted into the money because we do see a lot of puts that are currently in the money we also see a lot of puts at that 30 dollar strike and that really 30 to 33 dollar strike that are close to going into the money so you could see a lot of shorting at these levels but when it does come down to other reasons why amc is actually selling off this has a lot to do with the actual virus and it's not really people that are selling the shares it comes down to algorithmic trading programs that are actually bidding down the stock just because there's a lot of negative sentiment about a possible uh, vaccine mandate to go into uh restaurants and buildings and theaters and all that and that's a very bad thing because you're going to have a whole group of people a good percentage of people that wouldn't be able to do much because they wouldn't want to take the vaccine so that will be less demand basically everywhere so if this situation does get worse i would expect amc to probably continue to go down uh, but there's going to be a certain extent to that i don't think there's going to be a total vaccine mandate for every building in america you're going to have a good percentage of people like i said that won't do that and you're just going to see the overall economy slow down so much economically it doesn't make sense to do that but i don't think people that are really in charge of making that decision are fully aware of that as of right now so that is a huge negative thing that is weighing on the overall market but especially amc now on the other hand guys like i said you're, you're seeing this earnings run down you're not seeing a run up into earnings you're seeing a run down into earnings coming on monday and like i've talked about in other videos as well you either see a run up or a run run down into earnings if you see a run down into earnings you typically do see a big pop if you see a run up into earnings you usually see the stock go down so that is really the reversal that i was talking about that i think is going to happen i think earnings are going to be good i think they're going to smash expectations and they're going to give good guidance and that is ultimately very important but it is a lot different now this time around because this is the first time they're actually taking questions from individual investors apes like you and me so we could drop some bombshells in there if they they drop bombshells obviously that's going to be great momentum for amc but don't be fooled i don't think apes are selling out whatsoever guys i think this is just an overall short attack you're getting shorted from every which way possible from the puts that are going into the money so you're seeing a lot of market makers that actually have to short the stock to oblige for these options you're also seeing a big group of institutional investors that are shorting the stock into earnings which they typically do do and like i said that does lead to a pop in the the end about eight out of ten times at least from my experience and what i have been seeing as well as i do think you're seeing a lot of naked short positions as well as synthetic short positions and obviously legal short positions that are being initiated on amc stock really trying to play this downward pressure mixed with the virus and the vaccine concerns that would lead to lower demand which would be bad obviously for amc and any other retail environment so those are really the biggest things that are taking a toll on amc stock but ultimately when it comes down to it shorting is what we want to see we want to see the short interest go up as much as possible we want to see as much naked shorting as possible and 
especially if they go to FTDs. But nevertheless, once we do get that pop, that's going to be your big culmination effect. You're going to get that whole tr whole group of people that are waiting for the actual short squeeze to start and for more price action to go into AMC stocks. Some people are just FOMO buyers. They buy into anything that is up 30, 40, 50% for a given day. So eventually that will happen. This is only a time game. Like I said, I don't want to give any price predictions or time frames, but I think it's safe to say that AMC is at least going to all time highs once this actual short squeeze does start. So that's as much as I will say about that. That is why AMC is selling off so much. That is everything you guys need to know about where we currently sit with the AMC short squeeze. Just to say this again, I would not be worried whatsoever with the day-to-day -day price actions. I would watch the technicals, watch the support levels, whatever the case is. Keep in mind the fundamental news that is coming out because the fundamentals, the higher this justifiable valuation does go on a fundamental basis, the better the overall short squeeze is and the lower we could potentially go down. That's why I say that $30 level is probably our worst case scenario as far as right now. Now, with all that being said, guys, that's going to wrap up this video. Make sure to drop the like on the video as well as comment down below. Like I said, how many shares of AMC do you currently own? And also consider subscribing to the channel and turning on that notification bell so you'll be notified every time a video is posted. Also, if you guys want to get totally free stock in a brand new brokerage, I shouldn't say brand new, they've been around a little bit, but they're kind of new relative to other brokers. We're talking about public. Link down below in the description. You get up to $70 in your choice free stock in about three minutes time with no deposit necessary and no need to link a bank account. They also do not use payment for order flow, so your orders go straight to lit exchanges and you ultimately help the AMC movement more than you even realize. Also, like I said twice throughout this video, if you guys want to check out the buy and sell alerts and be notified when I make this earnings trade later into this week for AMC stock, which is going to be a big one, check that out. Link down below in the description. It literally pays for itself. With all of that being said, with all this information out there, that's going to do it for this video. I will see you guys in the next one.